Hi. In this lecture, we will discuss divide and conquer algorithm design technique. So there are some applications which can be solved by using divide and conquer technique. So, in this lecture, we will solve the binary search problem using divide and conquer. Now, let us move to the next slide. How to do that? So, the basic idea of design divide and conquer strategy is divide given problem into some number of sub problems and the sub problem also divided into again some number of sub problems so we can solve the problem if we will get the solution the basic idea behind divide and conquer problem is to solve some applications like sorting an algorithm like quick sort, merge sort, selection sort. And also we can solve some searching algorithms also, binary search, finding the maximum minimum element in the given array. These problems also we can solve by using divide and conquer strategy. Now let us discuss how to solve how to solve binary search algorithm by using divide and conquer. We will discuss in this lecture. So in the binary search algorithm is one of the familiar and fastest algorithm design technique which can be used to find or search an element in the given array very fastly. So the main real-time example of some of the real-time examples of binary search algorithm design technique is search a page number 250 in the textbook. It is a textbook. In the textbook, if you want to search or if you want to find Page number 250, the size of the textbook is initially 500. So in this case, if the size of the textbook is 500, you need to find page number 250 to solve the problem by using divide and conquer algorithm design technique. So we can solve the problem with the divide and conquer algorithm design technique also. So how to solve the problem? Let us see. There is a textbook with you. If you want to find page number 250, the size of the textbook is 500. In this case, initially, you need to turn up the page number one to page number 250. So it is a time consuming process. To overcome the problem, so we can solve the problem by using divide and conquer algorithm technique using binary search algorithm. So in the binary search algorithm, we need to find the search element. Here, the search element is 250, page number 250 we need to find. We can consider the search element is 250 and the size of an array is also one of the important ones. The array size is 500, A is an array. The size of an array is 500 means total number of pages in the textbook is 500. That means that finally, the textbook size is 500. Among those 500, we need to find page number 250 by using this algorithm, binary search algorithm, by using divide and conquer strategy. So in this way, we can solve many problems. Now let us discuss the binary search algorithm with a simple 
elements now consider an array the size of an array is 10 the size of an array is 10 here there are 10 elements which are placed in the array the array size is 10 starting from a of 1 a and it is moving on to till a of 9 so the first element the first index of an array is a of 1 the last index of an array is a of 9 here the array index will start from 1 and ends with n a of 10 so consider an array the array name is a so the array can contains 10 elements the first index is a of 1 the last index is a of 9. So here we will mark the first element in the array as low element, as a low indexed element. Whereas here we can mark the last element index of an array as R. R starts for right side. Or sometimes we can mark as H also. H also. This is the left, this is the right, or this is considered as a low, or this is considered as a high index. So based on our requirement, we can mark either L, H or L or based on our requirement. So here the problem is we need to find element number 12. The question is find element number 12 in the given array. Now first we need to search whether element 12 is available or not. So element 12 is available in the given Array. So here, whenever we are planning to work on binary search problem, the first basic principle is the binary search problem will work with the principle of divide and conquer strategy. So whenever you are planning to solve the binary search problem using divide and conquer principle, ensure that all the elements in the given array are in the sorted or not. Ensure that all the elements in the given array are in the sorted or order or not. Here, consider the array A. There are 10 elements. All the elements which are placed in the array are in the given sorted order. So the condition is satisfied. Once the elements which are placed in the given array are in the sorted order, then only you can apply the divide and conquer principle to the given problem. So now, now the given problem is an array of size is 10. Find the element 12 by using divide and conquer. So here we can consider the given problem is complex problem. The given problem is a Concept com com complex problem. So we need to solve the complex problem very easily with the help of the divided conquer. When we apply divided conquer technique, the complex problem or the complex array is to be divided into two sub arrays. One is sub array one, sub array two. Otherwise, sub array left side, sub array right side. Here the question is. On what basis we need to split the array? This is the question. The array is to be split in two different sub arrays by using the concept is the concept is find the mid element. Find the mid element. How to find the mid element? There is a formula for finding the mid element. Mid element in the array equal to first array index value plus last array index value by 2. Here the first array index value is L, the value is 1 and the last array index value is R, the value is index value is 9. So we can sum these two values, array index first one, array index last one, we need to sum these two, we will get 10, 10 by 2, we will get 5. Now A of 5, a of 5 is the considered as a mid element of an array. The element which is located in A of 5 is 15. So now the given array is split into two 
sub arrays sub array 1 sub array 2 with the help of the mid element we need to separate it to two sub arrays once the main array the complex problem is to be divided into two sub problems then only we can uh, apply the divided conquer strategy to the left side and right sub side sub array also so here now we need to find the key element as 12 which is there in the given array or not find the key element is 12 the key element 12 is located or available in left side sub array it is not available in the right side sub array in this case simply you need to ignore the right sub side sub array why we are ignoring the right side sub array because the searchable key element is not available or found in the right side sub array so that means that simply we are ignoring four elements in the array what elements we are ignoring we are ignoring a of 6 to a of 9 if you are ignoring a of 6 to a of 9 the size of array is to be less the size of array is to be less now we can consider only these three elements here in the second iteration we can consider an array the size of an array is 4 the size of an array is 4 here the left side sub uh, index is f1 and the last index is f4 and again we need to find the mid value here again we need to find the mid value continue the same process till the element or the searchable element is to be found so this is the process we need to find the binary search element by using divide and conquer strategy here whenever you are applying divide and conquer strategy to the given binary search problem so these three cases we need to follow very strictly the first thing is verify all the elements in the array are in the sorted order once all the elements in the array are sorted order we need to compare the mid element with the key element we need to compare the key element that is called as a searchable element now compare the key element with mid element if the key element equal to mid element the condition is true then the key element is to be found the key element is to be found otherwise compare with mid key element with the mid element if the given condition is true then go for searching at the left side of sub array simply ignore the right side of sub array and the third condition is key greater than mid if key greater than mid value the condition is true then go for searching at the right side of the sub array simply ignore the left side of sub array so this this is the process to find the given element in the array by using divide and conquer algorithm design technique now let us discuss this problem with a simple example another example so here we will solve binary search problem with the principle of divide and conquer algorithm design technique this is example 3 now here the searchable element is 12 the element which you want to search is 12 consider an array the array size is 9 there are 9 elements so array index starts from 0 and ends with n so here ensure that all the elements in the given array are in the sorted order or not so now let me check all the elements in the given array are sorted or not 10 12 20 32 50 55 65 80 90 90 so these elements are in the sorted order so that means that the elements 
are in the sorted order. Now we can apply divided conquer principle to the given problem, binary search problem to solve the problem very effectively. So here the question is the searchable element is 12. 12. Now check whether 12 is available in the given array. 12 is available. So the first step, in the first step, now the first element is to be considered as a, the first element in the array is considered as a L, left side, and the last element in the array considered as a R, right side, or sometimes we can consider as a I. Now find the mid element. Mid is equal to left plus right by 2. Mid element is good. First array index value plus last array index value by 2. First array index value is 0. Last array index value is 8. 0 plus 8 by 2. We will get 4. Now the middle element is 4. Now the middle element is A of 4 is considered as a middle element. So in this case, mid is 4. A of 4. Now search element 12. The searchable element 12 is to be compared with the middle element. The element 12 is to be comparing with the middle element which is located, located in A of 4 that is 50. So 12 equal to 50. The condition is now we can compare 12 equal to 50. The condition is not true. If the condition is true, the array element is found. If that condition is false, we can go for some other option that is called check whether 12 is less than or greater than to the middle. The key element is less than or greater than. We can verify here. The key element is less than to the middle element. So both are not matching. The key element and the searchable element, the, the key element and the mid element are not matching. So here, the key element 12 is smaller than the uh, mid element 50. So we can search only on the left side of the subarray. We can search only on the left side of the subarray. So this is the left side of the subarray to the mid element. Why we need to consider only the left side subarray? Why not we are considering the right side subarray? Why? Because the key element is to be located at the left side of subarray. It is not located in the right side of subarray. In this case, we simply ignore the right side of the subarray. Now, this is the left side of subarray. So, the size of array is decreased from 10 to 4. The size of array decreased from 10 to 4. So here, again, we need to apply divide and conquer principle to the given array. Consider this is the array. In this array, we need to calculate the mid element of an array. Mid element of an array equal to 0 plus 3 by 2. That is called 1.5. We can consider 1 is the mid element. 12 is considered as a mid element. Now here, so we need to divide the array into two parts, 10, 12 and 20, 32. 10, 12, 20, 32. So now here, the searchable element 12 is compared with the middle element. Now we are comparing the key element with the mid element. Here, both key element is 12 and mid element is 12. So we will get both are matching, both are matching. So the result is the element, key element 12 is found in this index and array. So to solve the problem, we have been taken one to two iterations. We have been taken two iterations. So in this way, we can solve the problem. Friends, we will discuss another example in next slide. So this is an example, another example. We can solve this example by using divided conquer principle. Consider an array. The size of an array is nine elements. So here the searchable element is 80. We need to search the element is 80. So here the first step is check whether all the elements in the given array are in the sorted order. So all the elements in the given array are sorted. Once the elements are sorted in the given array, then 
we need to divide the array into two parts how we need to divide the array into two parts so by finding the middle element first of all. how to find the middle element to find the middle element so the formula is mid equal to first array x value 0 plus last array x value 8 by 2 so a of 4 a of 4 is to be considered as a mid element now here we can compare the middle element 50 with the searchable element 80 both are not matching the searchable element 80 is compared with the middle element 50 but both are not matching and 80 is the searchable element 80 is larger than the middle element 50 so here we can search only in the right side of the array why we need to search at the right side of sub array why we can ignoring the left side of sub array is the searchable 80 the searchable element 80 is located at the right side of sub array so in this case we can consider only right side of sub array to the mid value so the right side of sub array which is located to the mid value is 55 50 65 80 99 Simply we are ignoring this left side of array. Now here the array, array size is decreased. So only four elements are available. So it is very difficult to search 10 elements, single element among 10 elements. Now we can search the single element among four elements only. The second point is here. And again, we can consider this is the A of 5 is the first element. A of 8 is the last element. Find the middle element is 5 plus 8 by 2, 13 by 2, so 7, 6 point something. So 60, A of 6 is considered as a mid element. So now compare the middle, middle element with the search element. In the second step, search the element 80, the given searchable element 80, we simply compare with the middle element 65. Here the middle element is 65. Now we are comparing 80 with 65, but both are not matching. In this case, again, apply divide and conquer algorithm design technique principle and again split the given array into two parts. So again, the array is divided into two parts. Here we can consider only right side of subarray. We are not considering as left side of subarray. Why? Because the searchable element 80 is located at the right side of subarray. Now the size of an array is 2. The size of an array is 2. In this case, we can um, search the searchable element 80 with the middle element. So here, what is the middle element? The first element is 7. The second element, the last element is 8. So now middle element equal to, mid equal to 7 plus 8 by 2. So 15 by 2, 7. Here, the middle element is 80. The middle element is to be considered as 80. And the searchable element is 80. Now we can consider the key element 80 with the searchable element 80, both are same. So the searchable element is compared with the middle element, both elements are matching. So we will get the result. The searchable element is to be found in the array index of size 7. So in this way, we can solve any number of problems by using divide and conquer principle to solve the given binary search. Now friends, so in this way, uh, we can uh, solve the problems. So this is very uh, important uh, topic, binary uh, search problem. So I hope you all have understood the concepts of binary search. Whenever in university examinations, they will ask the question, solve the problem, binary search problem using divided and conquer principle. You need to answer three. The first one is, write the definition of binary search, write an algorithm of binary search, take an example, solve the example by using divide and conquer strategy and find the time complexity and space complexity. That means the analysis. So algorithm, problem solving and uh, analysis of an algorithm. These three concepts you need to apply for each and every application in divide and conquer and further consumption. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is the time to close the session.